What is up you guys, it is Brad here, and today I'm back with another Bricklink store vlog. Yes, you guys heard that right. I know in my last Bricklink vlog, I said that I wasn't really going to be doing more Bricklink vlogs because I didn't think people were enjoying them, and I didn't know if I wanted to really continue with Bricklink, but in those comments, you guys overwhelmingly told me that you did enjoy the Bricklink vlogs and that you wanted to keep seeing me do them. So that is exactly what I'm here in the Bricklink room today to do. It also works out because right after I made that vlog, I also got some really great Lego clearance deals, as you guys can see here on March 1st. These sets were all over 60% off at my Real Canadian Superstore, so I stocked up on a bunch to part out. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing here in today's vlog, or at least attempting to, because you guys know how these Brickling vlogs sometimes go. So for starters, right before I picked up the camera, I did actually pack three Bricklink orders. So I've got them here. I'm going to take them to the post office sometime tomorrow. But these ones were actually pretty decent sized Bricklink orders I'm really excited about. So that is good. Great way to start the month off. And then I actually have a few other orders that I should pack up tonight. Also a few weeks ago, I think I got one of the best investments ever. This is a digital weight scale. This is a precision scale. So it is not like the shipping scale I have here. This one is, as you can see, it's a lot smaller. It's basically pocket sized. And not only does the scale go to the decimal, like two decimal points for minifigures, which is going to be really awesome. So I can actually take this to the store and weigh Lego minifigures now, because as you guys saw, if you saw that video on the main channel, the scale didn't work, but it's also a counting scale, which means I can actually count Lego pieces with it. It works really well. I've tested it out so far. This is going to be game changer for packing orders with a lot of small parts. You can easily just use one of these trays that are included here, put it on top, and it'll actually tell you on the scale how many Lego pieces are in the tray. So I'm super excited to get this one. I honestly don't know why I didn't get a counting scale earlier, but for now, I'm just going to leave it... Right there on top of the other scale. I started filming this vlog a few days ago and I think I already talked about it but you guys may or may not know but I did get a bunch of really great Lego deals on some Lego sets so I call it clearance haul at a superstore. Because not only do I still have these sets to part out and the Lego classic I now have this stock of Lego here including these two Batman sets and also these Lego Star Wars sets. So I'm actually going to go ahead and part out these Star Wars sets right now. I pulled out the second table here, which is awesome. This is my part out table. This is set number 75360 Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. It comes with two Lego minifigures, which is a lot of fun. So I'm just literally going to rip into these sets right now. I'm probably going to make this a very messy part out because I want to do some of those sets with figures first to get them in the store because sometimes it's very helpful when figures sell right away. And then I'll probably also do these avatar sets as well because these ones are a very good piece count for uh the other one's only 200 pieces so that's not going to add a lot of things to the store because the goal for this video the goal by the end of this vlog is to have well over 50,000 lego pieces in the store all right so i got all five sets completely parted out here i actually put all of the new parts that are in the store away so these are all the parts that are new to the store like brand new pieces i've never sold them before or at least don't have any in stock and then all of the parts that i do currently have in stock are in these pick a brick cups i'll go through them color by color of course and add them to the existing lots in the bricklink storeroom I typically try and put all of those parts away before starting out on another part out just because it can get pretty confusing if parts are all over the place but because I have such a backlog of things that I need to part out I am not going to go ahead and wait and actually I'm probably going to part out these two Ninjago sets here because I have had these for over a year now and I just need to get the parts in and they've got a lot of minifigures which sometimes when minifigures sell right away it is a bonus. This is also good because this has probably got a lot of different pieces than the Jedi Starfighter that I just parted out, which means when I'm going through all the parts, there's not going to be a ton of overlap. This here is such a cool piece. I don't think I've ever seen it in this color before. I really like the uh, transparent pink there, but that's that's pretty awesome. Part of me wants to keep this one for myself, but I'll list it and we'll see. Yeah, I feel like the pieces in this part out are actually really good. Like, I'm not one who builds. I don't build a lot and I don't build with a lot of pink, but it's just like... Because, I guess because I don't buy sets with colors like this, I'm just getting hyped that this one does have them. So a lot of these pieces are definitely going to be really hard to part with. But like pretty good parts here, especially a lot of dark tan, which is awesome. I feel like when I parted out the Star Wars set earlier, like I just wasn't super excited by it because I don't build a lot of things with those kind of pieces. And not that I use these pieces as well, but to me, they're just a bit cooler. I also like that this set does have a lot of figures to part out. So the last Star Wars one I parted out earlier in this video had these two figures here. I had five copies of the set, so that's why there's five figures. And then this one's got six figures so far of the first, I think I've opened four or five bags. Looks like I've opened only four, but of the first four bags, here are the figures two in each and I put them in these little plastic bags just because they're easier to store. Sometimes people buy just one, sometimes people buy two and I like to label all the figures because especially with the 
themes like Ninjago or Star Wars. I don't know the figures very well, and sometimes there's just very minute differences between them, so for me, it's important to label them so I don't accidentally send somebody the wrong one. And there we go. I ended up getting the whole set parted out, or just not actually, it's not parted out. It's sorted by color, but everything's sorted here. All the minifigure bags are labeled. All the figures are built, which is really awesome. Everything's there. So now what I can do is, of course, go ahead and actually part the set out. I just want to do that tonight. Before, before I go to bed, two, perfect. As long as I'm making sure I'm partying out two, 1,396 items, 170 lots, verify. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a PDF so I know where the parts should go when I have to put them away in my actual inventory. This is probably not the most efficient way to do it. The date is March 16th. There we go, it's saved now. So I can go ahead and upload the items to the store. Hey, yo, you guys, this is crazy. With adding those parts to my store, I just cracked 50,000 items here on Bricklink. I know for a lot of stores, that's not a big deal. Many of them are like 500,000, but I'm a small store. I do this very, very part-time, like less than less than part-time. So 50,000 parts for me, pretty big deal. Very excited by that. Huge milestone. I've been doing this store for like years and I've never hit this milestone before. I think when I restarted the store a couple of years ago, I probably had like 10 or 20,000 and I've sold a lot of parts since then. So this is good. I've mostly finished parting out those two Ninjago sets now. There's actually just three lots that need to be added to the inventory that are still somewhere here in the dark bluish gray. Three lots just need to get their own spots in the store. And the reason I haven't finished that is because I'm actually down to the last three of the small bags and I'm completely out of the medium and I have a ton of the large left. So I'm going to pause here and just do a lot more bag numbering. So I'm up to large 800 here. So I'm going to do a bunch more of the snack size bags and a few more of the sandwich size. I don't really need too many of them just because I've already got a lot. And then I need to go past 1850 of the bags here so i'll have to go see in the closet if i have any more of these smaller size bags which if i do they'd be down here oh look at that i've got one last one i've got 72 here so i won't be able to quite get to 1950 or like i guess i'll at least get to 1900 because i know there's 72 here here i'm only up to 1799 anyway so i need to get a few more boxes here but i'll at least get to 1900 or maybe even 1950 today to see all right, so I finished labeling a bunch of the medium bags here, and I also got up to $18.99 of the small bags here, but I'm almost out of the small bags. I knew I couldn't get to $19.50, or maybe I could, but I honestly got bored of labeling, so I'll come back to that a little bit later. I do need to go to the dollar store because I will need some more snack bags. I may need more sandwich bags, and I definitely need more of the small bags. I'm also going to need more of the bins because they only go up to $18.25 here, and I think I'm up to $900 now, so three more at least will be perfect, and then I'll have to start putting them over here, but it's okay because I do have the shelves set aside for that. And yeah, it looks like I have one extra bag of the sandwiches, so I'll probably grab one of them, a few of the other ones, and who knows. Of course, I'll probably bring you guys to the dollar store with me. Also, shout out my grandma. Not sure where she got these, but she sent them up with my parents when they last visited. She said she had extra bubble mailers. Some of these ones are the dollar store. I use these for free. These are a little bit bigger than the other ones that I normally use, but I will put them to good use because I'm pretty low on the dollar store ones, so I actually should buy a few more while I'm there because I only have, I guess, three of the large ones now, but I've got a lot more of these small ones and a pretty decent number of these ones as well. I was thinking right now I should probably do some more work on party note sets, but I just remembered I also have some orders to pack, so pause the set party note for now and let's go pack those orders. All right, first order packed here, an incredibly tiny one, literally one part, a uh, total of 36 cents. I am absolutely not complaining about small orders. I will take them in any way because I always ensure that my pricing, even if the part is 36 cents with shipping and the additional fees, all of my expenses are being paid, like the bubble mailer, the PayPal fee, the shipping fee. So I'm not losing money on these. So absolutely no complaints. But sometimes I wonder, this part is 36 cents. It is cost shipping plus a, a small order fee plus the actual price of the part. This order came to 427 USD for one pair of legs, especially a common part like this. I'm like, I wonder why somebody needs it so bad that they want to pay almost five dollars for it. 574 here in Canada. So I don't know. I got a bag here because the second order I finished pulling all the parts. Also a pretty small order, but 11 pieces this time. As I just finished packing up the second order here, I realized obviously my business cards, I have changed the name and I haven't changed it to the Brick Lover Brad logo yet, but I realized my shipping labels here are also still the Brick Lover 18 and the Brick Lover 18 domain and at. So I don't have very many of these left. I'm just gonna probably go through them because how many people really go through and look, I don't really know. But after that, when I go to print new ones, I will have to switch everything over. But this is still why I have the at Brick Lover 18 and the bricklover18.com domain, just because some people might not know that they'll look it up and they'll at least be directed to all my new accounts the third order i'm packing today is a little bit bigger so it's actually going to need this box because i actually sold a copy of the magisto's magical workshop 
I don't remember what video I talked about it in, but I bought this at a lug meeting back in November and then actually was gifted one for Christmas. I didn't realize my mom had made an order uh, from that time. So I went ahead and listed the second one on Bricklink. I'm hyped because I've sold it for exactly what I paid for it from the guy at the lug meeting. So that was awesome, which I'm, you know, that's perfect for. I got my money back. So he ordered it here with a bunch of other parts that I'm going to pack up now as well. I'm packing the third order of the day and one of the pieces they ordered is this really cool sword. This is such a cool piece. I actually wish I hadn't sold it. I only sold it for like two bucks or something like that, so not a lot, but definitely not one I have in my like, collection. It's a Harry Potter sword from the Advent Calendar. I only had one in my store, and yeah, part of me wishes I would have kept it. It is really cool. But that's not how running a store works, so all the rest of the parts are here. And the set and the instruction manuals are here, so I'm going to go ahead and bag up all the parts, put them in the bubble wrap here, and then cut the box down to size. And there we go, it fits nicely in the box here. And the third Bricklink order of the night is complete. I will have to bring all three of these to the post office tomorrow. You guys, I think I'm finally going to do it. I've been parting out sets like a storm these last few days, and I think it's time I finally part out the Lego Classic boxes here. I have had these in my Lego collection for years now, and I've just been waiting to part them out, and now I think it's finally the time. I've got four of them, and this part out is so long overdue. I actually don't remember what it's like to look at my Bricklink room without seeing that stack of yellow boxes there. They've been there for so long, the dust on the floor actually lines up with where they were sitting. I miss them so much, I'll probably actually have to put them back once they're parted out. I won't break down the boxes. But oh my god, I think this has been my most productive Brickling vlog in a really long time. Wow, you guys, this is a lot of Lego parts, that's for sure. I'm not even going to waste my time sorting these parts into pick brick cups like I normally would and like I've done for other sets. I'm going to put them straight in these boxes here because I know the quantity is so high of all the pieces here and the colors that it just makes more sense and will be smarter long term. I realize this is actually going to be a relatively easy part out because everything's pretty much done for me. I normally sort all the parts by color and by part type, but... They're all already done by color, so I actually can just skip right ahead to starting to add these things to my Bricklink store, and then I can do some sorting color by color, bag by bag. All right, there we go. 6,104 pieces in 340 unique lots being added to my Bricklink store. This one kind of sucks because apparently I parted out this set a few years ago because I still have some of the lots in my store, the other sets I've had, but I've even still got the instructions, which is pretty wild. Woo, look at that. I now have 56,163 items here in my Bricklink store. This will probably be one of the last times I show you guys the parts from the brick boxes here because the process I'm doing is going to be the same for pretty much every color so far. I can't remember what I've already shown you, but basically I'm going to be opening up each bag. Each one has a couple different colors in it. I'll go through and then pick out the parts that I don't currently have in the store. I do that on the Bricklink My Inventory. You guys have seen me do that before. And then any of the parts I do have in the store, I'll go through this PDF and actually put them away. I just finished doing all of that for all the black and the gray pieces here. So what you're looking at right now are parts that I've now have too many of to fit in their existing lots so for example i had this bag here of two by two bricks and there are just so many two by two bricks now in the store that i have to put them in one of the larger large bags same with these ones i had a lot of ones here that were in these small bags but because there's so many parts now they need to be transferred into larger bags which is a good problem so what i'll do now is i'll go through each one of these bags one by one remove the remarks and find a new bag to put all the parts in so i'm going to do that get everything done, and then I'm going to move on to another color where I'm going to put all of the lots that I don't have in the store in one of the bags right here. Then I'll take the box here to the Bricklink room, put all the parts away, any ones that are too large to fit in their existing bags, come out here and repeat the whole process, and I will check back in with you guys once I've finished all the bags here. Progress party note, the set has been going really well, and I know I said I wasn't going to check in again until I was finished, but I actually just realized how long this vlog was getting. I had no idea that I was able to accomplish so much in just such a short amount of time, so I'm going to end it here so you guys don't get too bored. But don't you worry, because based on all the feedback you guys gave me in the last vlog, this and that one, and this one won't be either my last Brickling vlog, because I've got many, many more to come. If you guys want to see them, I will continue making them. I said I needed to either step up or step down on the Brickling store, and step up is exactly what i did so there will be more content coming soon anyway you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you all here in the next video